I'm a very respectable man in the community. I play golf. I'm probably an ex-president of the golf club. I run a very lucrative scaffolding business and I'm a complete crook. If you don't have a moral kind of compass, then why would you don't need to stop at doing things that are legitimate, you know, because you you don't have the bound the boundary that people have. So I guess you could be possibly sociopathic in a way that when people cross him he eliminates. Why not? He's someone who I think sleeps easy. I don't think he's a man that really deals in fear and nerves. So I think it's probably a slightly misguided belief that he's going to be all right. He's wanting to change the way he operates in his underworld life. Instead of being the, the recipient of drugs from a port, so having to acknowledge and pay a middleman, he actually wants to take over the whole thing. And he wants to get it from source, Colombia, Mexico, put it on the container ship, bring it over and be in total control and make the big hundred million kill in one go. What I like about it is its ambition. I think it's ambitious from a production point of view, from a storytelling point of view, in that Tony Saint has, has, has written this hugely um, engaging and complicated eight-hour story. You get to stick with them and go through their journey, which I think is a brilliant format.